Good evening guys, Neil here again with another video on Awesome Miner. So this time around it's just to add another miner which you manage from your server side. And hopefully it will also teach you guys how to actually play with Awesome Miner. Okay, so to begin with we'll do the same as last. We go to Downloads. And on the PC now when I'm running I've got the server inside installed. And then for all your miners you've got running you need to now install the remote agent so i've got it running on this one as well along with the server if you so basically if you just uh, exit that one download this one save it and if you run it you'll see a small tray icon coming up the blue one blue is for the agent and the orange brownish color one is the server not much uh, features, many features in here, so you go to options, just says automatically start with Windows. Okay, so that, yeah, that while that's running now, you can go back to Awesome Miner. And what we're going to do is we can install the Managed Miner. So, just to, before we do this, the easiest way to do this is, for you, is when you do your pools first. So we can go to Options pools or let me just uh, delete these I want to show you guys so go to pools or you can just say at the top here new pool so first one would be etc with our address the address just to show quickly again is if you go into Nano pool on the splash screen. You go to Ethereum Classic, help at the top, and here in the middle, you see this is the server and the port. I've copied it all off screen into a notepad. Worker, we can leave blank. Make sure we select Ethereum Classic and then uh, the wallet address we need to put in as well. Okay, another pool. It's Ethereum. Make sure we select Ethereum and the server address as well. And we click OK. We're going to do one for CR coin as well, just to show how this works with deal mining. So we can call this one CR. Copy the address. See our coins all the way to the top almost. And then the wallet address. Okay, so that's your three pools now on the system. So if you click new miner, next, we're going to do manage miner. Again, my home PC I call zero. So normally you'd go new and do the same. Minor zero one nine two one six eight dot seventy four two five zero. And you can actually test the connection. Or because it's my home PC and I'm on this PC, you go one nine two zero zero dot one. Test the connection and you'll get the same. Click OK. Now we go next. We know we're going to do Ethereum and we select the dual miner. Just want to point out here, you can see it's 9.4. So if you leave it, then awesome miner will go and download 9.4. I normally just force it uh, to the latest version, which is 9.7. I'll show you guys how to do that. If you click on that, for now, let's do single mining. We're not going to select the deal mining go next and finish so right click on this one we're going to set properties and here we can say specify installation path we can go browse and then on this pc under c drive mining that one and let's use exe okay so if we click 
okay and that should be us good to go so if we right click and say oh and this is to show the one which is selected for the moment is etc if you say right click and say start you will see that the actual mine will pop up automatically so this will be mode one showing that it's mining just single on ethereum classic so what's nice now is while it's running it will start to mine and you'll see your hash rate and your profit so if we want to now just change on the fly to ethereum we can right click and say switch to ethereum it will close your mine at the bottom here and now you guys will see it's going to start Ethereum automatically so that's a miner which came up and there's Ethereum running now okay so if you leave it you'll see your profit coming up and also your hash rate for this card okay so next one is to do deal mining so we'll right click that one and say stop then we'll go right click on the mine itself and say properties this time around we're going to say ethereum and sia and now where we select the pool the difference now is that we will select new pool group and we can call that etc and see ya and just make sure you select the two you click ok and that'll be your new selection as well so now if you click ok right click and say start the miner pops up oh let me just see very quickly i think uh, i missed the port for see ya so it's right click stop Okay, we go to options, pools, see our coin. Yeah, so there, there's no port number here. So just to get it quickly, that's a port number. Okay, so we go back to awesome minor colon. Okay, okay, and now if we go start again, you'll see it's going to pick up both. So there's the CR coin and also Ethereum. Now, normally the hash rate or the power distribution between the two coins. There's a setting which you can uh, put in and at the moment normally it's 30 and it's called DCRI. It's just basically telling how much hash rate you're going to give to your altcoin you're mining. So if we press S, you'll see that we're getting 257. If we press plus and minus, that's uh, the difference. You can change it, say, to 15 or 20. But now if you want to do it by default, you can right click and say stop right click properties again and then in the mine uh, under command line what we'll do is we'll just add in say 15 or 20 in this case we'll put 15 click ok we're going to start the miner again and this time around if we do the plus and minus on the con command prompt you'll see it's going to start off from 15 just give a bit of time before it was 257 now I can see that it's 128 so if we press plus it should go to 16 and that's it so right click again we can on the fly now we don't need to change this to single mining what we can do is on the fly 
while it's mining the miner still open the bottom here you can say right click and we just want to mine ethereum on its own it's going to close the miner here at the bottom and the next one will come up by itself and we'll see mode one and it's for ethereum Ethereum Classic, sorry. Okay, so that's about it. You can right click and say stop. And you can do the same for all your miners. So basically you've got your layout of all your miners and you decide you want to do Ethereum on the one, Ethereum Classic on the other one. You can set up multiple pools. If you want to do different mining on your NVIDIA cards, you can do that. Or on your AMD cards, you can do that as well. Okay, so the next video clip, what I'm going to do, not tonight though, is uh, the new miner, where it actually does a, it manage your profits between the miners. So it will see which one's most profitable to mine, and it will change to that pool automatically. Basically the same as what NiceHash is doing. Okay, gents, hope this was useful. If you do like it, please like the video clip. It will show me that I'm doing something right or not. Have a good night. Thanks. Bye.